Oh, I've been looking forward to this one for a long time. You guys, hello, hi, welcome back to Hey Sean Ely. Welcome back to an episode of Sean's First Time Eating Today. Wild Boar Cheeto Burritos. That Cheeto part, that comes in two parts. Both Cheetos and Cheeto Mac and Cheese. So it's basically a Wild Boar Cheeto Mac and Cheese Burrito. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm a big fan of Fresh Time Market. We've got one here in Chicago. I went there and I found wild boar, 100% wild caught ground wild boar, free range meat from feral swine. So this, this be a pork. This is just a placeholder. So I've had wild boar when I lived in Italy because they put it in pastas. It's pretty common over there, but I've never had a wild boar Cheeto mac and cheese burrito. And wild boar actually has way less cholesterol than beef and pork. It's a little sweeter and a little nuttier. For this recipe today, we've got the wild boar. We've got deliciously paired cheddar and asadero taco cheese, the big old La Banderita burrito grande, Cheetos mac and cheese's cheesy jalapeno flavor. Spice. How are you gonna buy a bag of Cheetos and sit on them and wait for a day to film? Whatever chemicals they use, perfect. Easily my top five favorite snack foods of all time. Whoa. And we got an avocado. And we've got the maracas themselves, the jasmine rice, my favorite rice to throw in. Riley, the rice cooker. Thanks for watching my videos. This probably makes you wanna go unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Dude, but don't, seriously though, this is all I have. I'ma need a minute. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a damn good day. Let's brown some boar. Let there be light. So fun thing, I've actually never had this. So we can also do a little taste test of this by itself. That Chester the Cheetah is horny for cheese, dude. This ain't over. I gotta imagine that the mac and cheese Cheeto packet is even more ridiculous. Can you huff this? I guess you can huff anything if you try hard enough. You can see it just how there's like very, very little grease. I think I might use the La Crusette, the La Crusette, <laughs> instead of this one. Just eyeball six cups of water. Who's measuring that? Oh, we're multitasking. All right, it's browned up. Time for some seasonings. Is there even any grease to drain? Maybe a little bit? Okay, fine. How many people just leave the grease in? You guys do it? I always wondered that. Draining out the very little bit of grease. God, it's like three tablespoons worth, maybe. You go back there. Wipe off the excess grease. All right, two thirds cup water. My favorite Hoff seasoning salt going in. I'm coming in, cumin. That joke really sucked. I mean, it really sucked. Crushed red pepper. The powder of an onion. Mr. Pap, reek. Salt. G powder, always on everything. Everything but the elote seasoning from Trader Joe, goat worthy. Get this to a boil and then simmer for like five, six minutes. Might use some Old Bay seasoning too. I've been looking for a reason to use this. Why not? All right, we're boiling good. Bring this down, let it simmer. Ooh, and this like, this ground wild boar looks moody. <laughs> Saddam. They're nice. We got the Mac. We've got the return of Mr. Rory Boyle. Hello, Roaring Boy, Rory Boyle. All right, noodles going in, those corkscrews. Seven minutes. Seven minutes, counting now. So guys, how's your week going? What's up? Everybody okay? Everybody doing all right? What's one good thing that's happened to you this week that you feel comfortable sharing with everyone, huh? Let's focus, let's, let's celebrate the wins. What's a good thing, huh? Hit me with it. Give me the good. I had a fun thing. I auditioned for a Nintendo Switch voiceover commercial. Only on Nintendo Switch. Game rated E for everyone. Probably not gonna get it, but I was asked to audition for it. That's a start. It's for a huge franchise game that's dropping, so I gotta imagine if some, whoever does get that is gonna be going, So good for that person. <laughs> so every time it plays, you make that. All right, so one thing I like to do with the cheese on any ground meat I do is I like to kind of give it a little top layer to kind of just like 
melt into the meat and kind of coagulate everything together. It's almost like a food glue. I wonder what my neighbors think I do for a living. All right, seven minutes in heaven. Yep. How does the box know? There's so many stoves in the world and they always know it's incredible. Quick shift. Drain the pasta, do not rinse. Okay, box. Dude, that's kind of a cool effect. Well, can we get like a thumbnail here? Whoa, Sean's first time straining pasta noodles. Ah. Yeah, we fancy like Applebee's on a day night. People that do that get more views than I do. <laughs> Our jasmine rice is done. This will beep for 50 minutes, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump cut. Okay, adding the noodles back in. Two tablespoons of butter. I traditionally put way more than you need. I think we all do. <laughs> How many times are you fishing this thing out of the garbage can when you make pasta? All right, two ounces. Oh, that is a nice fake color. I'd say Crayola would call that a burnt sienna, maybe? Ooh, look at it turning very orange. How very exciting. All right, we gotta do it, right? Sean's first time eating jalapeno cheese Cheeto mac and cheese by itself. Cheers. Oh my, mm, good cut. Perfect. Oh, they nailed it. Good job, Cheeto. Okay, we're gonna cut an avocado. I love avocado and burritos so much. Ooh, it's perfect. Put. Ha ha. Oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sean, smash. Oh, I punched a hole in the bag. <laughs> some big pieces, some coarse pieces, and some finely chopped. Ooh, smells so good. Time to build. More cheese. Our perfectly seasoned, cheesy wild boar. Oops, look how nice that came out. Our jalapeno cheese macaroni. Our avocado. Crushed Cheetos. If you know, you know. Jets Ranch. And then a fun little add-on today, the Trailer Park Boys sent me for the show, reached out to me personally, their PR team, and said, Sean, we love the first time eating stuff. Do you want to put this on something in the kitchen? And I said, guys, of course. So I'm gonna, th I'm gonna do the decent hot sauce. I'm gonna do this red one right here. Never had this before. Let's make sure this is like good. It's got a cayenne base. Mmm. Oh wow. That's perfect for a burrito. It's that like, it kind of tastes like a Frank's. How are my rolling skills? So many people overstuff their burritos. I'll just eat two. Tuck and roll, tuck and roll. Okay. Yeah, you know, good not great. Looks like a giant doobie. Now here's the thing. If you're not grilling your burritos when you're at home, you're lazy. And don't be a lazy person. All right, real quick. This will also help keep the burrito sealed even better. I like to really work it around the oil. Ooh, yeah. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at this thing. That's how they're supposed to look. Look at that, grilled to perfection. Okay, and then real quick on the second one, we got the mac and cheese, but we're also gonna add white rice to this one. <laughs> Jasmine rice is just the greatest. Gives us an excuse too to use this Verde Trailer Park Boys sauce. Look at the green bastard. Not even gonna try this one. They won me over with that first one. Here we go. Jets Ranch. Cheeto dusting. Avocado to finish on this one. We're two for two. All right, let's cut this bad boy in half. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? Look at that dispersion. 
All right, we'll cut our second one. Oh man, equally incredible. Look at these things. I straight up cannot get over how perfect these turned out. A lot of work went into this. We're at the finish line. Sean's first time eating wild boar Cheeto mac and cheese burritos. All right, let's do the one with the red sauce first and the no rice. All right, there it is. Cheers. Mm. There's so much there. First thing I get, so much cheese. The cheese from the noodles, the cheese from the shredded cheese, the cheese packet seasoning. You get to everything but the elotes powder coming through. That is perfect. Wild boar works for this. <laughs> Damn. Shout out Coney Island Saucery. The noodles, I don't know how, but mac and cheese belongs in a burrito. Oh, that bite had good avocado. I get why Chester gets high off his own supply now. All right, before I let you guys get out of here, because I nailed it, I knocked it out of the park, let's do the Verde. This one has the rice in it too. God, grill your burritos. Normalize cutting boards as plates. Do everything I'm doing, and you will live such a happy life. <laughs> I love you. Oh, this one's even better. I grilled the second one even more perfectly. I may nail it with these sauces. Excited to go into a coma later. This might be the best thing I've ever made on this channel. No joke. It's not too greasy because the wild boar is way leaner. It works so well with everything. Everything is accenting each other. Nothing is weird in this. Like, this is a weird food to like the average person. It all works. How do I go up from here? The crunch of those Cheetos, I'm gonna put some full ones in there too. One of the sad thing, I've had zero marijuana and zero alcohol today. And this is how I'm acting to this. <laughs> That's the endorsement. Guys, thanks so much for watching Sean's First Time Eating. Thank you so much for watching the daily uploads. If you haven't noticed, a new video has come out every single day since late December. Wake me up when December ends. Oh, that's September, not to say. I knew it when I said it. Let me know in the comments, have you ever had wild boar before? What did you think of this concoction? Would you ever make one of these? And cheers, love each and every one of you that watches the videos. It makes me so happy that you guys are here. Love doing this to you and to us.